Hello and welcome to another Let's Play DFK video. Second one of the day. Let's go. Why not? Missed one yesterday. Was watching football, so might as well try to keep it at a one a day pace. I am going to be playing lightweight this time. It's level 12 average against channel favorite Code Green. He is in the Holy Trinity, Knight Archer Priest. I am Warrior Archer Priest. Just got this priest up to 12. Looks super cool. Doesn't help, but you know, it's a thing. Look at that. Anyways, okay, so last time I fought Code Green, I actually was able to take advantage of this 402 Priest. I remember that. He has a slight gear advantage, but not nothing crazy uh, on his archer. So it looks like a pretty clear target for the Priest again. Although I don't really have... I don't think... Yeah, this is a sub-15 uh, Priest, of course, myself. So I don't think it's worth it to go Holy Light. That's my, what you call it, build. So I don't think I want to get, last couple of times I took like Prayer of Might, Prayer of Protection, stuff like that. I think I just like these two expensive ones, this one, cheap one. It's really boring to do like this, but I think it's good. Maybe I want this instead of, I think this is only really good on Holy Circle. It's pretty good on the rest. I think I just want the 10% consistency. Uh, in terms of my Warrior, let's see. So I do want the Taunt against his Priest, potentially. Rough, or sorry, War Cry would be another consideration. I sometimes do, but not this time. I think I'm just going to go basic warrior build. Archer, on the other hand, do I think he's going to attack my archer? Seems pretty likely. So my priest is going to need to babysit the archer. Maybe I wanted him in the other direction in case he... Well, he's, he's going to be able to attack actually here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So his knight, I've, I've seen Code Green play before, and he likes to do the silence on his knight. So that's why I want my priest in P3 instead of P2. Just a little, little something, something I've noticed. You know, so I don't want to go flurry. This guy does have decent luck, though. So maybe I, maybe I want to split the difference and go like this. <clears throat> does that make sense? I, I don't like piercing arrow. If I'm going to go rapid shot, I'm going to go this. Or do I want to channel with this thing? You know what? I think I want to channel, actually. I haven't channeled in a while. I'm just going to... I think this game's going to go longer. I think the sharpshooter value is going to be good. And I think my priest can keep this guy alive to get that value. So this looks pretty good to me. We do have potions this time around. Uh, he, is, he has the ability to poison. I have an anti-poison. I have both. He has both. So... That seems fine to me. You don't usually get an advantage there. I don't have any trace at all on this build. I do have hard wind, so if he starts channeling for my archer, I like doing a hard wind there if he's targeting my archer, which I think he will do. So we'll see if that comes up. I actually kind of like hardened, I'm saying hardened wind, I mean hardened shield, uh, combining that with providing winds, of course. But I think hardened shield could actually be good here. So could the 30% or 20% evasion if he's trying to target my, uh, my lowest HP guy, which is the archer. And of course, my level 12 warrior unlike 15 cannot protect it so seems like this will be kind of a mid-length game possibly long possibly short if somebody screws up but we'll play it as it comes and do our best all right briefly let's look at okay so the knight has days and death mark let me try to remember that he has okay so he's running challenge so my priest is gonna be an issue he's got interception He's running almost what I am, except a little bit different. So I don't want to make this holy circle amazing. I think I just want to focus in with this sharpshooter. And he's actually running the same thing I am. He's got two dazes. So let's see if we can make him waste his dazes on my archer. Did I win initiative? Wait. Ah! I did win initiative. Okay. This guy is fast, apparently. We'll just start off with a poison and make him react. So he's got the interception here. So he's going to be able to protect that priest. So I'm not going to have... A very easy way to attack this. He got second with that. I doubt he'll open up with interception. Probably. Does he have? Let's see if he loaded the thing or not. Forever vigilant. Okay, so he didn't load this, the uh, silence this time. A little gamesmanship there, perhaps. I don't know if he knows that I knew that. <laughs> but regardless, he didn't do it this time. That's cool. And I did not get dazed, also good. So, yep, he's not going to be able to do... He's got Poison Blade. Oh, okay, so he does have two decent rage attacks with that. That's something to know. I should I should look for stalwarts before I do poisons like that, by the way. I didn't. That's a good habit to get into. Prayer Protection, so he's... Okay, that's against my Gruff, potentially. 
So I am going to, so you are going to channel, I believe. Actually, the two of us could get through this. So let's do this to set up. I don't really want to start my gladiator um, rapid onslaught. That's pretty mana inefficient just to do that. So I think you're actually going to do this. And I'm pretty sure he's going to channel on me. And then I can do a hardened shield next turn. Maybe a holy beacon, something like that if I wanted to. This is going to get through this barrier and start to put a little bit of pressure. I want him to use interception next turn. Just use this mana up. I want him to I want him to have to use interception as, as opposed to have the choice. So I want to put this pressure on him to kind of make his play for him. I don't really want him to interception. Let's put it that way. I just, uh, you know, I don't want him to be able to ignore it. So I'm pretty sure he's targeting my archer. That is correct. Do have that guy's name memorized. So do I want to holy beacon? Okay, if I holy beacon, I don't necessarily need to harden shell, but this is pretty good too. It's a little man inefficient for myself, but I don't think this is the type of game where I'm as worried about that. Let's see if he interceptions. I'm guessing yes. But now I can still gruff here with a chance to crit even. Let's see if he uh, uses Deathmark or something like that. I bet he does. And he shoots here. I get a chance here to heal before my guy goes. Poison Blade on this guy. Interesting. So I'm, I am going to Gruff here. Yeah, I think that's just good. It still gets, it gets through the interception unless I'm being dumb. But, okay, so I did, I did do Piercing Shot last time, so I could do one small stone here. If I had like a good offensive thing, like a something, I might consider that if, because if I got a crit, I could potentially take this thing out. But I don't think that's likely. I'm actually just going to return the favor and get my evasion bonus. Didn't work in terms of dodging that. Took our poison. Do we want to cleanse? No, we just want to heal. Because the knight, actually the knight's going to get to daze, isn't he? The knight's going to get a chance to daze. So hopefully we can waste his days with this. Uh... But I can't let I can't let this kill me. I need to be careful. So I do want to heal here. I mean I don't want to, but you know, it's a little bit a little bit inefficient what I'm having to do here. Could cost me in the long game. Yep. Man, he got it. Okay, well, wasn't great odds on his part, but that's a strong move to try for. It's a big upsize, so I don't blame him. He got it. Now he could try, I believe, a, a critical aim. I think he used that guy's poison before. Heal self, okay. And you've got big shot coming in, which is fine. I have... I think I actually want to do the full combo here instead of um, this is a little bit lackluster on this warrior because I'm, I think this game is going to go a little bit long and I need to be efficient with this warrior so I don't run out and need to be using a mana pot there or something. So basic, ouch, with the crit, not nice. What does this read? If piercing shot was used on the target, it was not used on the last turn. Okay, I started my channel last turn. So that was interesting. Let's do another channel. And this time I'm going to split the damage between the front two. I'm going to give up on his archer for a little bit. That wasn't really working once I got dazed. I'd rather split the damage between these two since I'm going for onslaught. And this guy, do we want to beacon? It's pretty inefficient to beacon there. It's 15 or 35, you know, big difference. So I think I just do this. It's pretty boring, but I don't think we're in any danger. Kind of dig in for a longer fight here. 
which I figured what was what was going to happen unless somebody really was able to uh, catch the other one early. Challenge tries to take that. Doesn't work. I like that. I wouldn't have actually minded too much if he challenged, to be honest, but... Glad I didn't get... Oh, interesting. Tries, he's trying to daze my guy. Uh, it's not very high odds, so... Doink. Got the bleed. Knight's starting to feel a little bit of pressure. So yeah, I kind of wish he did challenge, to be honest. I was I was debating of just, just aiming at the archer instead of splitting it between these two. Because this is when the interception wears off. I wonder if he'll feel the need to re-up it right away. Uh, if he does, his knight's mana will be very low, which is fine. Let's see, this guy doesn't have a daze, too. I think he had two dazes, actually. Yeah, he might try it. Nope. Piercing shot. I missed that. Was that? Hang on. Piercing shot, zero. Okay, I finally got my evasion value. Nice. And this guy cleansed his poison without me paying much attention, so that was cool. Uh, I don't really want to do anything with this guy, do I? I don't think I need a beacon there. I am just going to shoot the priest. So, yep. Let's see. He's got 114. I have, we have about the same amount of starting MP. Though he wasted some of my magic points. Um, so he's being he's being a bit more efficient because of his priest. Although they're about the same. Okay, I actually have more starting. Interesting. Interesting he did that. Instead of trying... I guess he realizes this guy is giving him bad odds. Like 80% or like 70-something percent maybe. So. He doesn't want to give me value on that either. But I'm pretty happy to be splitting up damage like that. And I will take this, right? Last turn he piercing shot it and missed. So he doesn't he does have one small stone potentially. But um, I'm just gonna take my value here. I've come this far on the combo, but I'll start to think about a holy beacon here. It was not super impressive. Though I am I am putting him under some pressure here. He might have to uh holy circle. Okay, there's the one small stone. Did he target? He, oh, he missed. He missed again. This guy dodged twice. So that one, that time he wasn't channeling. So that was just dumb luck, probably. Let's do prayer of healing here. And yeah, he's under some pressure because um, he can he can holy circle here. But then I have my big attack, and then my other guy. Let's see what he can do here. Interception again. He's pretty much out of mana on his knight. That sounds good because now I'm pretty free to use my basic on his knight along with a warrior attack and get that guy to where maybe he has to use a potion and a heal on the same turn to avoid death. So I am just going to attack here. So this holy beacon, I wasted a lot of these dots, but it made him unable basically to keep up his plan of attack like he was doing so I think it was fine all right gonna keep peppering this guy make him make him keep healing so now I think I have flipped a little bit in terms of resources I am ahead on mana I don't think either of us has spent any stone I'm ahead on hit points so I think I'm winning sharpshooter targeting my priest okay but he still has critical aim there and a death mark he has not used his death mark so i don't think i really want to do much here i, think I might pass the turn I could use a potion for efficiency and go here yeah that's probably fine let's go ahead and do that He's going to get three attacks in a row there, I believe. Let's see if he wants to use this death mark. Pretty good chance, but then I can heal it right before his archer goes. 
I think this knight is out of stuff. Can he challenge again? I might could have checked on that, huh? What? It doesn't tell me how much mana it is. He probably can challenge once more with 11 mana. Not 100% sure. Depends on how it scales to level 12. But yeah, if he were to challenge here, I might have to use a health potion, which I don't really want to do. Okay. Did it. He intimidated me, but didn't get the taunt. Nice. Nice for me. 29 strength, not very much. So he wasn't super likely to get the taunt, I guess. He is efficiently healing there. I am going to keep attacking this knight, I believe. I could also try... Duelist. I could try to blind this thing. No, I think I keep being efficient here. I think we attack this knight. I'm going to combine this Sharpshooter plus Big Basic along with my Gladiator Strike Onslaught on this knight. Make him, hopefully make him use some health potions to deal with it. Because since I was, I was fortunate enough not to get taunted there. Uh, he's about to get three in a row here. I'm going to go ahead and Holy Beacon here. Preventatively. It's a little bit inefficient, but I don't want to give myself a chance to die to death mark. Crit maybe, uh, critical aim. He could do he could do death mark, critical aim, and then this shocked. So I want to be at full. If he can, if he can manage to do that, regardless, uh, psh, shit happens, I guess. I don't think he can. And I'm already gonna get this dot value, I think, from this. Okay. So he uses his first mana vial. I've used one mana vial. He's used one mana vial. Interesting, he did it on the knight. I don't really mind this. Uh, I don't really mind this interception, to be honest. I'm pretty happy if he tries to keep it up even more. 201. Doink. Here's where I wish I had something good for this priest, but... All right, so we're at 381, and he's still got the possibility to go death mark, critical aim, big basic. So I am going to prayer of healing. Doesn't feel great. I'm having to be a little bit inefficient with these heals because he's he's threatening to uh, with the way. Maybe I want to try to like pass turn with this priest if I get a chance to try to get in between two of these guys to kind of break that up because until he uses this death mark critical aim um you know he's going to be able to threaten it with this sharpshooter two out of the three turns and makes me be inefficient with my mana with my priest like i've been which i don't like so he's just probably not going to attack it now yep he's going to switch targets and i got dazed okay well that does split me up a little bit but i don't want to i, want, I don't really want that guy there uh, that's a tough crit for me unfortunately but this interception is about to wear off, so I think I'm going to switch off of that knight. All right, let's think. If this guy taunts, heals archer, you go big attack. Yeah, I think we taunt the priest here. Try to make him panic with use. I don't even know if 17 mana is enough to do interception. We got the taunt. Beautiful. And you are going to... Are you going to beacon? I don't think so. To, yeah, he might, actually. It's so inefficient to do these beacons. But I'm, I'm putting him to where he doesn't really have a place to attack. And I'm still ahead on resources, I think. So, yep, I'll do it again. I think this is going pretty well for me. His archer is almost out of mana. Both of our archers are almost out of mana. We have basically the same mana on our archers. My priest has a little bit more mana and considerably more health, which is helping me because I wonder if he feels like he has to do interception here. He might. Assuming 17 mana is enough at level 12, I'm guessing it is. Basic interesting. So... That's interesting because now if I want to hit the priest, I have a 50-50 shot of pulling off the taunt. How do I feel about that? Not great. 
So I'm going to shoot the knight instead and start focusing with my archer and warrior back on the knight since he can't heal until here. He can't heal until here without a, a vial. And I can do gladiator onslaught potentially. Piercing shot. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for me. Let's see if he starts attacking my warrior. You know, I'm, I'm being inefficient with these uh, these holy beacons, but I mean, when you when you're looking at this from his perspective, I mean, he just can't attack his. He can't use resources to attack. He might just basic again, just say, "I'm going to wait out these holy beacons before I start spending my mana." Because, um, so he's either going to sharpshooter my warrior or like basic attack it, or he might be thinking about if he has to use a potion or not. Not sure he does. If I just had a little bit of offense on this priest, I hate these healbot priests, I really do. Explosion, okay. Okay, explosion. That put him there. He's gonna target that almost certainly, right? I won't, yeah, it doesn't tell you on explosion who he's targeting. So I am going to just basic That's because I can actually pierce. Okay, so neither of them can heal. Neither of these two can heal. So if I I put enough pressure here where I can go basic attack, piercing shot, basic, basic. So that makes him base, it makes him vile here. I think I want to do that for sure. And Code Green is going to figure that out. I'm pretty positive. So I think he has to vial, which he doesn't want to do, but that's life. That way I'll be up, I'll be ahead. He's used two vials, I will have used one. Basic. All right, so now you go, you go. This guy doesn't have anything to do, really. Explosion, interesting. All right, I think I'm going to shoot. Nah, I need, I need to be doing this, don't I? I'm going to sharpshooter his midline, priest. Make him react. I don't think I, don't think I can get through the night anymore. Making him use the potion was about as good as we were going to do there with my pretty uh, pretty mediocre attacking. So that explosion uh, hit my warrior like I thought. Really, that damage that that was bad for him. It cost him 1.8 turns. He didn't want he was he's saving his mana, but um, that was not good for him at all. Challenge. Oh, 0 for three. Bad luck. That's officially bad luck on his part. No doubt about that. You know he doesn't have a lot of strength, but he definitely should have got at least one of those. So let's see. I think I just want to be efficient in prayer of healing here, and I'm perfectly fine. He's got two more sharpshooters. I didn't think he used both of his dazes. I do know he uh, he hasn't used this critical aim or this death mark. I'm quite sure. I haven't used a blinding winds on my archer. I also haven't used my uh, what you call it? Interesting. That's fine by me. I haven't used my hardened shield or my other things. So yep. Let's see. I don't think I can't. I can't threaten damage. Ah. I can't threaten damage on this guy. So I don't think he doesn't need to use a vial. He can just heal it up here. But then I'm going to attack. I, I, I can basic here, but it's going to be really, really wimpy. This is where you really want like a death mark or a something on your priest unfortunately this this priest is mostly getting played because she looks cool as hell um poison blade blade uh yeah none of this is that great so let's see what he's got here with this archer knight combo knight's just basicing he's got one more vial he almost certainly has to use it as a mana vial on his priest in order to win this game otherwise i'm not sure what his path is he does a sharpshooter 
targeting my priest again. So, yep, he's kind of moving around his aggro to deal with my, uh, you know, <clears throat> holy beacons. But they're doing their job, I think. I think we're doing our job. There's the death mark, finally. And... The priest, the priest can critical aim. Would be a sh I think I think I'm just gonna pass the turn with my. Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't I go here in case I need an emergency vial? I'd, I I want to use my emergency vial with this warrior instead of. Let's see how this critical aim goes. If he's gonna do the critical aim. Um, because I want to attack. He, no, he can't do that. He can't critical aim. What am I talking about? He has to heal himself or he's just dead. His priest has to heal itself. Because my archer's right there. He's going to have a tough time living if he, even if he does heal himself. Yeah, this is this is looking good for me. Uh, so I don't need to vile to tech basic i don't you know some if i'm gonna vial uh for damage it's gonna be my archer not my uh my warrior that's my thought there and we keep attacking this priest he's just the 402 is just a little awkward he's got the cool uh the cool cosmetics but this priest 402 and then 173 is not very high either he's just didn't have great rng on that guy so there's the mana vial that's Necessary if he's going to win a long game. Okay, I did not get crit. Uh, I do have a death mark. Do I want to... You've got a basic for this. I think we just do this. Be efficient. 259. Yeah. Then I've got... Uh, no, I don't have anything here. You just basic. Where he's just basicing. Yep, I've got him. I've got him kind of choked out here a little bit. I'm just grinding him down. I have more more HP, uh, more MP potential with two. So he's actually used all three of his vials, so he can't. This is the last of his MP, whereas I have two more vials to use. And I probably will use one uh, warrior on archer here. So do I want to channel again, or do I want to piercing shot sharpshooter? I think we channel. Keep on keeping on. I don't think he can deal with this that much longer. And I will use a mana vial on this archer to just keep it up. Be efficient. Because he is he's got one more left with his archer. I'll have to see exactly how much mana I get from this. Big basic 209, and that seems fine. I'm not in piercing shot range or anything like that. Uh, I don't really want to do much here, to be honest. Just shoot this. I can pass the turn to go in front of this, potentially, but I think the, the shot has some value. Okay, I missed that. My dog just walked up behind my computer chair and threw up his breakfast. Great, 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 great. All right, so what happened? My sharpshooter went off. He's basicing and doing a prayer of healing. Okay. And you've got your basic, so I can do the pot next turn. Hopefully, yeah, he shouldn't have. He has one more sharpshooter, I believe. I can tell how much it costs for mine. No, I can't. I'll tell it's my turn. Basic 61, I accept. I'll go ahead and heal it up. Got through the death mark, didn't die. Now he's in. He's in a tough spot. I don't think I can lose knock on wood from here I have two I have six stone to his zero as a reminder otherwise it would not be the case at all although I think I would actually win maybe no not quite but I have stone the 
don't have many of these left. That is fine. So now we'll, we don't have as many decisions to make, so this will speed up a little bit, hopefully. Basic, blank. Let's see if we can kill it with the priest. 48, doubt it. No. No. All right, so we will heal up here. My warrior will use mana pot on my archer, who will keep on sharpshooting until he's dead. That's the plan. That is the plan. Not super sexy this game, but I think we played it pretty tight. And we had just enough more efficiency than him. I think his... Eh, it's not too much of a difference in terms of power level, I don't think, but... Okay, switching targets. Let's see, can I blind this knight? No, I should not blind the knight with clear vision. Uh, let's, yeah, not, let's not blind then. will threaten lethal with a sharpshooter, I believe. Pretty close to it. Yep. I don't think he has any more heals. So, his priest is on the clock. Not that the priest is valuable now. It's just getting one guy out for action economy. Okay, he did save that daze. Didn't get the, the uh, the four he did get the hit through my evasion, but didn't get the, uh, 70 percenter or whatever it is. No, he's trying to stop me. I am inevitable, or something. Just make sure in case we low roll. Can still block, does not. And now he's got I'm going to focus on the knight with my basic, and I've got, yep, another sharpshooter. I didn't look to see how much stuff costs, but he's got one as well. Basic, he's not using a sharpshooter for some reason. I've got another prayer of healing for that. So yeah, pretty pretty even matchup here. It's just, it just came down to efficiency, I think. Prayer of healing, basic. We'll switch to the knight. Didn't even need my hardened shield. That would have been good. Or the blinding winds. Kind of at any time. I've just been spending all my turns doing sharpshooter stuff. I did one piercing shot, I think. Didn't follow it up with the small stone. You pretty rarely use the small stone these days. But I think there's some value to having it available. Especially at these lower levels where the cold repeating shot doesn't do much at all. And yep, he sees the writing on the wall. GG Code Green. That was a more tactical kind of plotting uh, victory, uh, match as we were both basic, you know, using priests with a balanced party. I was just able to be a little bit more efficient perhaps in my actions. And I don't know, it just worked out that way where I was able to uh, put more pressure on him with my warrior doing onslaught cycles than he was in his night. Unfortunately for him, missed all of his challenges. So he, if he had landed challenges, he would have maybe made me use my health files when I didn't want to. I went 1 for 2 on Gruffs. I believe he went 0 for 3 on Challenges. So that was maybe the biggest uh, difference in, in R2 because we have very similar strategies. So I made him use his stone with a health vial because of the, uh, the Gruff, whereas he didn't make me do hardly anything I didn't want to do that entire game. So I was able to kind of grind him out. Uh, so yeah, interesting game. We get, you know, a reasonable amount of games like this in the current uh, DFK PvP environment. Uh, good to get some practice reps in. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you all in the Coliseum.